Hello everyone, in this video we will be solving one of the very famous and favorite problems in interviews, best time to buy and sell a stock. The number is 121. The problem statement is, we are given an array prices, where prices of I is the prices of a given stock on I today. We want to maximize your profit by choosing a single day to buy one stock and choosing a different day in the future to sell that stock. We need to find out the maximum profit that we can do by this transaction. If you cannot achieve any profit, return zero. In example number one, with this as the prices of the stock, the maximum profit that we can make is five. Given that we buy on day two and sell it on day five. In example number two, where we have the prices of the stocks dropping all the way till the end, starting from seven, and ending at 1, we cannot make a profit, hence we will be returning 0. As I mentioned earlier, this is one of the most commonly asked questions in the interview. So I'll try to explain this problem as neatly as possible because there are more problems similar to this with an elevated difficulty level. Hence, it is very important to understand this problem and the solution so that we can come up with a better solution when the complexity of the problem is increased. Without wasting any time, let's switch to whiteboard. First, I'll talk about how this can be solved using a knife approach or brute force approach. And before diving in deeper into it, I'll just talk about a couple of small things. To get maximum profit, we need to sell the stock when the value is highest. So maximum value minus buy it at the minimum cost possible. This is going to be the basis on which we can earn the maximum profit. When we start the iteration, we will have two iterations running one inside other. The first one would be for the buy. So we will start the iteration with i is equal to 0 all the way to i less than length minus 1. The reason I am doing this minus 1 is because there is no point of using the last value for buying. Because if I'm buying it on the last day of the stock, I'm sure to make a loss because there's no, no more days left where I can sell. And the inner loop is where I will run another iteration. Let's take the pointer as J starting from I plus 1 because I don't want to start from the same position as I as we cannot do the transaction on the same day. And it is given in the problem statement and run all the way till the end j is less than length now all i need to do is take the value that i is pointing at so let's say when my i is zero my buy is going to be seven and for buy is equal to seven do all combination of sell and get the maximum value so my sell will vary from one all the way to four with whichever combination of buy and sell gets me the maximum difference I will save it to my result variable. For example, let's say I'm pointing at 1 right now. So my profit will be 1 minus 7, which is minus 6. Because it is negative, this transaction does not make sense. So my result variable will still be 0. 7 is the highest value in the array. So we will not get a positive profit. So let's skip this iteration, increment our pointer i and check for the remaining combinations. So now my i is 1, which makes my buy is equal to 1. Now with j iterating from 2 all the way to end, these are the indexes. My sell in first case would be 5. So my temp profit is 5 minus 1, which is 4, greater than my result. So I will update my result to 4 and continue the iteration. And when I'm pointing at index 4, my sell is going to be 6. And with 6, my profit will rise to 5. And my result variable, which is holding the maximum profit, will also be updated in that case. Similarly, I will continue the iteration for all the values of i and the corresponding values of j to calculate the profit based on the difference. With this solution, my time complexity is O of n factorial because I am running two loops, one inside the other, and the number of iterations for the inner loop is dependent on the outer loop. And my space complexity is constant space of one, as I am not creating any collection to hold the calculations. As you can see, 
this time complexity is not an affordable one. If I increase the number of prices, then this will grow exponentially, causing my time limit to exceed. Now let's talk about how this can be simplified further. To come up with a better solution, we will use this formula where we need to find the maximum value to sell. So now let's say if I'm doing an iteration and while I'm iterating, if I keep a variable minimum value to buy and this value is going to be updated every time I increment my pointer. So if I'm starting my pointer at seven, I will only look at the minimum value so far. So with iteration until seven, my minimum is going to be seven. Now, if I increment my pointer, now I have two values to compare. So I will compare this with the previously calculated minimum value, which one is smaller. So I will update my minimum value to one. When I increment my pointer again, now between these three numbers, which one is the minimum? So the minimum is still one. In hindsight, I'm only comparing two numbers and storing the minimum instead of going through all at once. And based on that, I can easily identify what is the minimum value. The another side to this problem is whenever I am at a particular number, let's say I'm at five. If I want to sell a stock at five, it needs to be purchased before that. I cannot go to a value after that, buy it in future and come back in the past and sell it. While I'm calculating the buy, which is minimum of all the values before a certain index, I can also use the same logic to calculate the profit, which is assuming that I'm planning to sell it today, which would be prices of I minus whatever is the minimum value that I have calculated so far, minimum of all values before. And based on this, I can easily find out the profit and I can co easily compare this profit with my max profit variable to maintain which transaction is going to give me the maximum profit. So let's take an example. So when I'm about to start my iteration, I will have two variables. One is this max profit and one will be the minimum, which we will keep on updating. Out of the gate, my minimum is going to be prices of zero. Assuming that I will be buying the stock on day one, minimum is going to be seven. And this iteration will begin from i is equal to one with the same assumption that I will not be selling my stock on day one. Hence, I'm starting with i is equal to one instead of i is equal to zero. The first step is to assume that I'm selling my stock on that day and I have already bought a stock. So whatever is the price of that day minus the minimum value. So right now, my prices of i is one minus current minimum price is seven, which is going to give me minus six. Is this greater than the current maximum? The answer is no. So I will leave max profit as zero for now. The next step is to think if I buy the stock on that day, when my i is equal to one, my stock value is one. There's always a possibility that I can buy it on that day and sell it on the next day. The check is math.min on the current minimum price and the price of stock on that day. So I'm comparing the current minimum, which is seven and the prices of I, which is one. Obviously one is smaller. So my new minimum is one and I will increment my pointer. So the next value is I is equal to two and checking for the profit. I am comparing prices of I, which is five with the current minimum, which is one, five minus one, which will give me four, which is greater than my current maximum profit. So my maximum profit is going to be updated to four, checking if my minimum value can be changed. So the current minimum is one, the new price is five. It does not make sense to buy the stock with the value of five if you already have with the value of one. So we do not need to update our minimum and I will increment my I pointer. Now with my I pointer as three, so my stock price is three minus minimum value is one, giving me the profit of two. Again, it is less than the maximum profit, so we will not do anything. Now checking for the minimum, three and one. Still one is the minimum, so we do not need to update the minimum value right yet, and we will increment our pointer. So now with I is equal to four, the stock price is at six, 
minus 1 profit is 5 which is greater than the previous max profit so now my max profit is going to be updated to 5 and my minimum is still going to be the same because between 6 and 1 1 is minimum so no changes there so in this way we can iterate to the array once keep an eye on the minimum value of the stock that we can buy and simultaneously compare it with the price of the day to see if we can make a maximum profit so with this solution our time complexity is improved to o of n because we are only iterating through the array once and not multiple times and our space complexity is constant space of one as we are not creating any additional collection all we are doing is having these two variables maintain the maximum profit and the minimum value of stock i hope you were able to follow my explanation let me show you how the same solution can be implemented using c sharp so here is my c sharp solution in the main method i have initialized this variable profit which will hold the maximum profit for me then i have this validation to check if the prices is not null and the length needs to be greater than one if the length is only one then there's no point of transaction because all i can do is buy the stock and not sell it then i have this variable best price to buy which we start by setting it to the price of zero so at day one whatever is the price is going to be the best price to buy the stock this is not used so you can ignore this variable then i start the for loop from i is equal to 1 all the way to i less than prices dot length then i'm calculating the profit which is between the current price of stock minus the best price to buy the stock if the difference is greater than the profit then the profit variable is updated with the new prof new value once the profit is calculated the next step is to compare if the current price of the stock is less than the minimum price of the stock that we have bought before whichever is lower is going to be saved to this variable after this for loop is complete i will have the maximum profit calculated in this variable and we will return it on line 18. thank you for watching this video i hope you were able to follow my explanation and this c sharp solution if you have any questions or concerns feel free to reach out to me this source code is available on my github repository and the link will be there in the description below feel free to check that out and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.